You are by you are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever and ever and ever is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abba. Father, let your ruhak be upon my lips. Remove from me anything that is not of you. Remove from me anything that is not of you. As we reach to above to bring down you to below through your word, through prayer, through humility. Praise you, Abba, you are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever, endeavor. Is your faithfulness. Let your ruha hiddos. Let your ruha test the hearts of whom you choose. Hallelujah. Selah. Amen. In the name of Yeshua. Amen. Shalom. Those who have ears, hear. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. Second Corinthians chapter 11. Please hear. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. I would like for you to bear with me in a little foolishness, Paul says. Keep in mind, this is me reading. That's all. Paul writing, but the Ruach working. Okay. First, Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. I would like you to bear with me in a little foolishness. This is Paul talking. Bear with me in a little foolishness. Now let's kick it for a second. I would like for you to bear with me in a little foolishness. Please do bear with me. For I am jealous for you with God's kind of jealousy. Since I promise to present you as a pure virgin in marriage to your one husband, the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Those who have ears hear And I fear that somehow your minds may be seduced away From simple and pure devotion to the Messiah Just as Eve was deceived by the serpent and his craftiness For if someone comes and tell you about some other Yeshua That the one <laughs> other Hallelujah If someone comes and tell you about some other Yeshua than the one we told you about or if or if you receive a spirit different from the one you receive or accept some so-called good news different from the good news you already accepted if somebody come and tell you about some other Yeshua or you get some other good news from the good news you already accepted or you get some other kind of spirit other than the spirit you already accepted mm -hmm. Cause remember the adversary is crafty mm-hmm Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or if you receive a spirit different from the one you receive or accept some so-called good news, different from the good news you already accepted, you bear with him well enough. For I don't consider myself in any way inferior to these super apostles. In quotations, I may not be a skillful speaker, but I do have the knowledge. I may not be a skillful speaker, but I do have the knowledge. We have made this clear to you in every way and in every circumstance. Or did I sin in humbling myself so that you may be exalted? Did I sin in humbling myself so that you could be exalted? Paul asks, please listen. Or did I sin in humbling myself so that you may be exalted? Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 7. Or did I sin in humbling myself so that you could be exalted in proclaiming God's good news to you free of charge? I robbed other congregations by accepting support from them in order to serve you. And when I was with you and had needs, I did not burden anyone. My needs were met by the brothers who came from Macedonia. And nothing have I been burdened to you, nor will I be. The truthfulness of the Messiah is in me. The truthfulness of the Messiah is in me. Hallelujah. So that this boast concerning me is not going to be silenced anywhere. Why won't I ever accept your support? It is that I don't. Is it that I don't love you? God knows I do. No, I do it. And we'll go on doing it in order to cut 
the ground from under those who want to excuse, the want an excuse to boast that they work in the same way that we do. Mm -hmm. See, Paul's saying that, hey, look, I ain't going around asking for this or asking for that, not because I may don't need it, <laughs> not because I'm going to accept it because I don't love you, but I do it just for those who want to use it against the work that we do. Saying that we like the other ones that be asking for money. You know how the certain buildings do it. But we continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13. The fact is that such men are pseudo apostles. They tell lies about their work and masquerade as apostles of the Messiah. There's nothing surprising in that. Mm -hmm. Why? For the adversary himself masquerades as the angel of light. So it is no great thing that his workers masquerade as servants of righteousness. The devil himself masquerades as the angel of light. So it is no surprising thing that his servants masquerade as angels of light. Those who have ears hear. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 13, the fact that such men are pseudo apostles, they tell lies about their work and masquerade as apostles of the Messiah. There is nothing surprising in that for the adversary himself masquerades as the angel of light. So it is no great thing if his workers masquerade, masquerades as servants of righteousness, they will meet the end that their deeds deserve. I repeat, don't let anyone think that I'm a fool. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think that I'm a fool. But even if you do, at least receive me as a fool. Please pay attention to this so that I too may do a little boasting. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? What am I saying is not in accordance with the Lord. Rather, this conceited boasting is speaking as a fool would speak. So Paul is saying, hey, I'm finna say some stuff, but I'm talking like a, a foolish man. So bear with me because in the beginning he said, bear with me a little while as I speak like a fool. Because sometimes he's, 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 you understand. Let's continue. Hallelujah. This is the word we're just reading. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 18. Since many people boast in a worldly way, I too will boast this way, right? So this is what he says. And this is why he said, accept him like a fool, because he finna talk like, like a fool. Since many people going to boast in a worldly way, let's go ahead, I'm going to do it too, Paul says. Since many people boast in a worldly way, I too will boast this way. For if someone makes a slave of you, exploits you, takes you in, puffs him, takes you in and puffs himself up, slaps you in the face, to my shame, I must admit that we have been too weak to do such things. But if anyone dares to boast about something... I'm talking like a fool. I'm just not daring. <laughs> Are they Hebrews? <laughs> and, and what he's doing, he, he's about to get into this, 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 this boasting that the world does. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is we got these pseudo apostles, these fake apostles that do boasting in worldly matters. And they boast. Mm -hmm. And so what he's going to do is talk like a fool and do the same thing they do. Check them out. All right. But if anyone dares to boast about something, I am talking like a fool. I am just as daring, right? He said, I can do it too. Are they Hebrew speakers? So am I. Yahweh Elohim is his name. Mm -hmm. Are they Hebrew speakers? So am I. Are they people of Israel? So am I. Are they descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they servants of the Messiah? I am talking like a madman. Here we go. He's like, man, I'm talking like a madman. I am talking like a madman. Are they servants of the uh, of the Messiah? I'm a better one. Are they servants of the Messiah? I'm a better one. Why? I've worked much harder. Been in prison more often, suffered more beatings, been near death over and over. Five times I received 40 lashes, less one from the Jews. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked and spent the night adrift at sea. In my many travels, I have been exposed. This is Paul, some of the things he's been through too. Since the world going to boast, right? He going to boast like them as a fool. But check him out though. He's talking about the things he went through, but he, he clearly already said he's talking like a fool as he do this to get to a point. Are we going to get there? I've been in danger from rivers, danger from robbers, danger from my own people, danger from the Gentile, danger in the city, danger in the desert, danger at the sea, danger from false brothers. 
I have toiled and endured hardship, often not had enough sleep, often been hungry, often been thirsty, frequently gone without food, been cold and naked. And beside these external matters, there is the daily pressure of my anxious concern for all the congregations. There's this daily pressure of our, <laughs> the true ones, there's a daily pressure of our anxious concern for everybody in the body. Who is weak without my sharing in his weakness? Who falls into sin without me burning inside? If I must boast, I will boast about things that show how weak I am. See, he, he said all of this, and he's telling you, don't mean nothing. Boast in your strength, boast in your strength, boast in your works, and boast in all of that. And he went along with that, and even with him boasting in that, he got more ground to boast. Because he done been through more. This is Paul. But he, as he's doing it, he's telling you, I'm speaking like a fool as I do this. Now, at the end of him speaking like a fool, he come back to himself. Verse 30, chapter 11, 2 Corinthians. If I must boast, I will boast about things that show how weak I am. If we're going to boast, we got to boast about the things that show how weak we are. That show how weak we are. If I must boast... I will boast about things that show how weak I am. God the Father, Lord Yeshua, blessed be he forever. Know that I am not lying. When I was in uh, Damatuda, the governor under King Arteus and the city of Damatuda guarded me, guarded and arrested me. But I was lowered in a basket through an opening in the wall and escaped his clutches. This is part one. We're going to stop it here. And the next chapter is, is where he really gets into the meat. It's going to first start off saying, listen, he starts off talking about these prideful things. You know, and, and in another place, he, he kind of does the same thing. And somewhere else in the Brit Hadashah, where he said, hey, you all want to boast? I'm a, I'm a Hebrew amongst Hebrew, born born as a Hebrew, uh, circumcised on the eighth day. Uh, uh, when it comes to the Torah, I can't be touched. So he goes on and he goes down this, somewhere else. He goes down his list of all the stuff that he got on his resume. And then what does he do? Y'all know. He said, but I count all of that as dung. He counted all as dookie. We must not boast in the things that on the outwardly worldly appearance cause us to be proud. He tells us over and over again, those things are like dookie. Those things are like dung. Those things... When you get out the bathroom and you get off the toilet yourself, that aroma that you smell in your nose, that you got to spray the glade, that you got to spray that stuff in the air all right, and hope that uh, somebody don't come in the bathroom after you. That's is how Yahweh takes your good works, the thing that you are proud of, the thing that you boast about to his nose. That's how they smell. And your good works are like what to him? They are like a menstrual rag. Apologize to all the women out there, but the good works of humankind is like a rag from a woman on her period. <sighs> That's what your good works is to y'all. We're going to boast. We got to boast in the weakness. It's just a word. Just a word. Those things smell like dookie. Those works are like a menstrual rag. <sighs> Part one. We're going to get into part two, which is the next chapter as he goes even deeper into this thing. What he just got through doing, just boasted in himself. And he told you, I'm going to talk like a fool as he boasts in these things. And then he goes and he says, hey, but if I'm a boast, I'm boasting the things that I am weak in. Hallelujah. Shalom.